hello guys, it is me again, it's BarFan34, and welcome back to another video. And since I came off of re just reviewing the Kentucky Fried Movie, I figured I'd review kind of like the closest thing you're, you're going to get to a sequel with that. But you can see, see it's um, Amazon Women on the Moon. Um, this one was released... It says 86, but I think IMDb says 87, so I'm just going to say for the sake of it, 1987. Um, and, I'll, and this is pretty much like the closest thing you're, you're going to get as a sequel to the Kentucky Fried movie. But I say, out of all of them, this is my favorite one, dealing with like this comedy anthology kind of like movies. This is what they have, they have my favorite of those kind of movies. It's a really fun movie, and and uh, there's there was actually a couple directors on this. Um, John Landis, who directed the Kentucky Fried movie, um, he directed some of the segments in this. Um, Robert K. Wise, who was a producer on the Kentucky Fried movie, he directs a couple of them. Joe Dante directs a couple of them. Peter Horton actually directs one of them too. If you know Peter Horton, who was in uh, Children of the Corn. And he's also in one of the segments as well, right here. There's Peter Horton right there in the hospital. But he directs one of them. Carl Gottlieb also directs one. I like how on the back of this DVD it says, starring lots of other actors. Which is really true, because there's a lot of people on this. You had people like Arsenio Hall, Rosanna Arquette, Steve Gutenberg, Henry Silva... Sybil Banning, Peter Horton, Griffin Dunn, Michelle Pfeiffer, Mark McClure, who was Jimmy Olsen in the Christopher Reeve Superman movies, Andrew Dice Clay has an appearance in the movie as well, Rip Taylor's in the film, and David Alan Greer and B.B. King are in one of them, they're in one of the funniest ones, Henry Silva's in one of the best ones, I'm trying to remember who else is in here, um, I mean, there's a lot of other people in here. But, Amazon Woman on the Moon. Basically, what this film is, it's like... It's like a... It's a, it's, a, it's kind of like a, a late-night TV binging when watching low-budget sci-fi movies. Because, basically, what this... It's filmed from the perspective of, of a person watching a TV. And there's this channel, Channel 8... Which is basically which is basically going to be airing this low budget fifty sci fi movie called Amazon Women on the Moon, but the channel is having having technical difficulties. So while the viewers waiting for the channel to resume the movie Amazon Women on the Moon, you can see like the viewers like channel service. So it's like cutting through different channels of showing all the different skits while the while the viewers waiting for Amazon Women on the Moon to come back on the air. So they're like basically channel surfing through all these channels and watching all these skits. And the the very the, the very beginning is really funny with Arsenio Hall. He's in one of the best ones where he plays this guy who's having a really, really bad day in his apartment. You know, like he tries to open a can of beer and the splash is on him. Bad food. He gets his tie caught in the garbage disposal annoying phone calls. He plugs in this thing into the electric outlet and gets electrocuted. You see, like, the app. Uh, his hair go up, and he's, like, with the, his hair up, like an afro. Um, and you're thinking, like, what, what in the world's going to happen next to this poor guy? And he sits down, he, and he tries to turn the TV on. The TV blows up, and there's no reaction. The annoying phone calls, it ends with him. He's like, shit, shit, damn it, shit. He gets his foot caught in the trash can, and then he's, like, getting so mad, he falls backwards and out the window, and he falls on the ground. Um, just a really fun skit in the beginning. Um, and it's also, you know, like the Kentucky Fried movie, where it's, like, a bunch of different sketches and commercials and things like that. One of them, you have Peter Horton and Michelle Pfeiffer, and Griffin Dunn, that's the one in the hospital. That's a really funny one. Um, one of them, oh, and also one of the best ones I almost forgot to mention with Ed Bakley Jr., which is on the bottom right there, 
which is called Son of the Invisible Man with Ed Begley Jr., where basically Ed Begley Jr. plays like the Invisible Man, with he has like the 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 rat the ribbings on, and he takes it off, and he thinks his formula worked, but he's so dumb he doesn't realize he's still visible and people can see him. So there's like a scene of him like walk around this bar. And he's like, ooh, there's a ghost and all that stuff, but everybody can see him. So I thought that was really funny. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little belt there. Um, one of my personal favorite ones in the movie is the Henry Silva one. Henry Silva just, you know, you know, Henry Silva, you know, he was he's he was the villain in Code of Silence with Chuck Norris. He was the bad guy in Above the Law with Steven Seagal. This one though, the way he delivers his performance, he's like so into his performance, he's so dedicated, it's so funny. Just the way he delivers it. Because Henry Silva stars as himself as the host of this TV show. It's it's like a take on of Ripley's Believe It or Not, but it's called Bullshit or Not. It's like, was Jack the Ripper really the Loch Ness Monster? And you see the Loch Ness Monster dressed in clothes in Victorian England. And then with this woman. And they go around the corner and the, and the woman screams and because... Well, this monster was Jack the Ripper. And Henry Silva, you know... And just Henry Silva, just the way he says it. Bullshit or not. Did I take this job for a quick buck? <laughs> um, just Henry Silva. That, that's easily one of my... I'd probably say my favorite skit of the whole movie. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, Joe Pantoliano stars in a fake commercial for hair which is basically they just put carpet on his head. Um, you have one where it's like a roast at a funeral. You have people like Steve Allen and Rip Taylor in that one. And, and Brian Cranston has, has a little small role in that as a paramedic. It's cool to see an early role by Brian Cranston way before Breaking Bad. I'm trying to get some of the other uh, sketch, sketches in here. Oh, David Allen Greer and B.B. King are in one of the best ones. B.B. King is like, asking for money. You know, it's called, I think it's called Blacks Without Souls or something. And you see, like, all of these African-American people acting very white. <laughs> and, you know, that's the point of it. And, you, and David Allen Greer is just the way he's portraying his character. He's, like, so into it, singing these songs. Around the oak tree. He's like the clothes he's wearing and things like that. David Allen Greer is great in this. That's easily one of the best ones. It's really, really funny. And the way B.B. King and David Allen Greer are in that is just really funny. Um, other ones, you have one that was directed by Peter Horton. It's called Two Forms of IDs. That's the one where Roseanne Arquette and Steve Gutenberg go on a date together. And Roseanne Arquette has like, has like this machine that tells you everything about the person that you're dating and things like that. Which I'm sure, you know, that was a pretty clever, pretty clever one. Um, other ones, I'm trying, think, I'm trying to think of other skits. But you have one where this guy gets sucked into the TV, into all these different channels. Kind of like in before Stay Tuned with John Ritter, you had like a sketch in this that was kind of like the pre-predecessor to stay tuned. He's like getting into like this Disney movie and there's like one where he's like there's a King Kong movie. He's getting like zapped. He gets zapped into the TV and he's going through all these different channels. That's a really fun one. And then every once in a while they would cut back to the Amazon Women on the Moon sketch. Um, and things like that. But I don't want to say much more about the skits in this. One of them is Mark McClure going to a video store and then that the way that one goes wrong and Andrew Dice Clay's in that one too. I'm not going to ruin that one, but uh, I'm not, I don't want to go too much more into depth about any more of the skits because I want people to see this film for themselves. And this collector's the collector's edition is really not that much. I mean, it's, the, the outtakes are a lot of fun to watch, because you, you can tell these people had a blast making this. It has a trailer, and, there's, and they have some deleted scenes, which I can see why these, these were on the cutting room floor. These skits really weren't up to par with 
the other ones. I'll mention the two deleted scenes. A couple of them. One of them has Dick Miller. Uh, rest in peace, Dick Miller. Um, that's the one where he is a ventriloquist and he picks up the wrong dummy and the dummy speak in French. Uh, it just wasn't wasn't that great of a sketch. And the other one, I, th I can definitely see why it was left on the cutting room floor because it just was so stupid. It, it's... And surprisingly enough, you have Robert Loggia from Over the Top and Big, among many others. You have Ronnie Cox from RoboCop, Total Recall. And you have Bernie Casey from Revenge of the Nerds. He was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And the three of them were in, like, this army bunker and it's World War II. And, you know, it's called The Unknown Soldier. That, that I'm not going to try to bother, like... Like, trying to talk about that sketch is so hard to explain, but it's so dumb. I can see why that movie was deleted. Um, but Amazon Women on the Moon is easily my favorite comedy anthology. I think it's one of my personal favorite comedies of all time. One of my favorite films of all time, actually. And one of my favorites from the 80s. It's a lot of fun to watch. So, I highly recommend Amazon Women on the Moon. So that is pretty much it for my review for Amazon Women on the Moon. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time. You guys take care.